The TSC55K is a battery operated cordless plunge saw that is designed for sawing various materials and has an extensive system of accessories and consumables available. In this guide we will take a look at the different features, setup and some system accessories. The cordless plunge saw can be used with one battery as an 18 volt or with two batteries for 36 volt with a maximum RPM of 5200. Batteries available for the cordless plunge saw include Airstream and Bluetooth options in various amp hours. Cordless plunge saws are commonly used with guide rails. Place the saw on the guide rail and check if there is any lateral movement between the base and the rail. If so, turn the cams clockwise until the saw fits snug to the rail. Make sure the cams are not over tightened by sliding the saw up and down the guide rail. If the saw does not slide easily, loosen the cam slightly. To prevent unexpected startups, the power switch has a safety interlock. Before the saw can be started or plunged, the plunge release must be engaged. To start the saw, push up on the plunge release and pull back on the trigger. Once the trigger has been engaged, you no longer need to hold the plunge release. The cordless plunge saw is equipped with a depth stop for setting the depth of the blade when cutting. The depth stop has two index pointers that are 5mm apart. One is used to indicate the blade depth when used without a guide rail and the other is used to indicate the blade depth when used with a guide rail. To change the depth setting, press on the index pointer and slide it up and down to the desired setting. The leading edge of the guide rail has a replaceable rubber zero clearance strip that once fitted gives you the exact cut line and reduces material tear out. Set the saw to 10 millimeters on the FS depth setting and operating speed at six, then cut the splinter guard to fit. The outer splinter guard is used to prevent chipping on the off cut side of the saw blade. It is fitted in place of the clear view window when a good quality of cut is required on both sides of the blade. The outer splinter guard is a consumable item and will need to be replaced periodically when worn. Like the guide rail splinter guard, the first time you use the outer splinter guard, it will be trimmed to match the blade. The cordless plunge saw has electronic speed control. The speed control is variable from 2650 RPM to 5200 RPM. The optimal speed of the saw is predominantly determined by the type of material being cut. The cordless plunge saw has a kickback stop for increased user safety. When switching the saw on, the green light will be illuminated to represent the kickback stop is on and active. Once plunged, if the sensor has no contact on material or guide rail, the yellow light will be illuminated representing the kickback function is not active. Once the sensor has contact, the green light will be illuminated to represent kickback stop is active. The kickback function can be turned off if the saw is used without a rail on an uneven surface. Each time the saw is turned off and on again, the kickback function will be reinstated. If kickback occurs, motor will shut down and stop the blade and an alert sound will be heard with the red light being illuminated. Drawing the saw up and switching the tool off, then on to reset the tool for normal operation. Festool offers a variety of saw blades for cutting materials including timber, plastics, aluminium and cement sheet products. The cordless plunge saw features a fast fix system for easier blade change. Set the blade depth gauge below 25mm. Fast fix system is engaged by raising the fast fix lever and plunge the saw down until it locks in position. For safety, the power switch is locked out. The arbor is locked from turning for blade change. Using the hex key, loosen the arbor bolt by turning it anti-clockwise. Place saw on the side and remove flange and bolt. Lift the blade out and slide the new blade in. Reinstate flange and bolt, then lay saw over to base to tighten. Release fast fix lever. The depth can be accurately zeroed out if adjustment is necessary or when required after blade sharpening 
to ensure depth from the zero point is always accurate. With the saw off the rail, set the depth to zero on the standard depth setting side of the indicator. Plunge a saw and check depth for where the blade sits in relation to material. Adjust the fine adjustment with the hex key either higher or lower until an accurate zero point is attained. The bevel range of the saw is adjustable from minus one degree to 47 degrees and has fixed stops at zero and 45 degrees. The bevel angle can be adjusted by loosening the front and rear bevel screws. Tilt the saw until the index pointer is aligned with the desired angle, then tighten the bevel screws. By pulling out the limit release knob at the back enables you to override the stop to 47 degrees and adjustment to minus one degree is gained by pivoting the stop on the front and the limit release knob together. When adjusted back to zero degree, the stop will pivot back to ensure zero degrees is attained. The cordless plunge saw can be used with or without dust extraction. When used without an extractor, the chip diverter swivels to direct the saw dust away from the work area. For flexibility, a dust bag can also be fitted. When connecting a dust extractor, the 27mm hose fits internally and the 36mm hose externally to the chip diverter. Festal dust extractors have an option when working with cordless tools of pairing the tool to the extractor via Bluetooth. Plug the Bluetooth battery into the bottom battery housing of the saw. Set the power switch on the extractor to auto. Press the Bluetooth button on the extractor until the light flashes. Turn the saw on to pair the Bluetooth battery. The vacuum will automatically start when the saw is turned on and will remain running for a couple of seconds after the saw turns off to clear the remaining dust. The cordless plunge saw has indicators that represent the blade finish position when plunge cutting with the guide rail. There is a mark on the saw's outer casing, clear view window and splinter guard. This is the finished position of the blade when set to full depth. Once plunge position marks and cut line is established, place the guide rail along the cut line position. Place the saw on the guide rail and position it on the start of the cut on the plunge mark. Install the limit stop on the guide rail, slide it up to the back of the saw and lock it in place. With the saw firmly seated against the beginning of the limit stop, Start the saw and slowly plunge it down. Advance the saw through the cut until the end is reached. Hold the saw fully plunged until the blade comes to a complete stop. The cordless plunge saw has a system of accessories and consumables that allow the user to adapt to suit different applications. A series of blades for achieving quality cuts in different materials. Clamping options to suit different working situations. Protractors and squares for quick and efficient working. Dust extraction for compliance when working with dangerous dust. To keep yourself updated on Festool product information and applications, subscribe to our channel below.